Glory, hallelujah, glory, hallelujah. Today is the day that the Lord has made. And I am so glad, so glad to be a part of it and rejoice in it. My brother, my sister, I feel so good right now just to be in the presence of the Lord, just to give him the thanks right now, just to give him the praise right now, just to be in his presence right now, just to always shout out his holy name. Each and every day, I'm so, I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed just to say thank you, Jesus, for everything that you've done. Thank you, Jesus, for everything that you're doing. And even though my situation is looking ugly right now, but I am still got my faith. I still have my trust, and I still have my hope in you, God. Thank you for every chance. Thank you for every opportunity that you bless in front of me each and every day, God. I want to let you know right now I'm so thankful right now. I'm so grateful right now. I'm so honored right now. I'm so blessed right now because I still and always believe in your words, and I always believe in your promises, God. Thank you for always watching over my brothers and my sisters and myself. Thank you for covering us through the blood of Jesus. Thank you for your protection, God. Thank you for your promises. Thank you for your love. Father God, we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you. We wouldn't be here right now today if you if the plan was over with, if our dream was over with, if our marriage was over with. But right now we know one thing for sure. We know one thing for a fact that everything is still in play. Everything is still in in in, in, um, in contact in contact. And I just want to give you the thanks for it right now. I want to give you the praise for it right now. I want to give you the glory for it right now today, Jesus. I want to thank you for moving and mounts on our behalf right now. Thank you for lifting us up right now. Father God, you know exactly what we're going through right now. You know exactly what we're up against. So, Father God, we know for a fact that you can move the right hand and we know that you can move the left hand. So, Father God, we want to give you thanks, praise, and glory for everything that you're doing right now. And you know as you lay us down to sleep that we can sleep peacefully. Father God, knowing that everything is in your hands. Knowing that everything is under control. Knowing everything is in the Master's hands. So, Father God, we come to you today want to say thank you. We come to you today want to give you thanks right now. We come to you right now want to give you the praise right now. We come to you right now want to give you the glory right now. And we thank you. And we honor you. And we give you all thanks, praise, and glory. And everybody say, amen. Doesn't he deserve that? Doesn't Jesus deserve that? That's why I love about Jesus so much. Because I don't mind. Praise him. I love to praise. I love to worship. I love to glorify him. I love always pouring my heart out to Jesus because I'm in love with him. I have a connection with him. I have a bond with him. I have a relationship with him. And that was Jesus born for every last one of his children. He want a relationship. He want a relationship. That's the only thing that he expect out of every last one of us is a personal relationship. Not an on and off relationship, but he wants a consistent, a commitment, a dedicated relationship with you. Are you willing to give Jesus what he wants from you? But so many right now today, you always want something from Jesus. You want this or you want that. But the only thing he asks for you is a relationship. That's it. Spend some time with him. That's it. Talk to him. Walk with him. Hang with him. Give him five. Give him doubt. That's the only thing that he wants. That's the only thing that Jesus expects out of every last one of us is a personal relationship. But you have the audacity to open up your mouth to ask him for this and that. And he still does because he loves you. I got tired of being selfish like that because I felt like it wasn't right. I'm keeping it real. I'm being honest. It wasn't right. And the only thing he wanted for me was a relationship. That's why I gave him one. That's why we have one. That's why I praise him the way I do. That's why I'm in love with him the way I am. So I think about the times I didn't have a relationship with him. I think about the time when I was selfish. I think about the time when I was walking past him and he was still right there watching over me, still covering me, still making it do what he do for me. So yes, I'm going to thank him. Yes, I'm going to praise him. Yes, I'm going to glorify him. Even I got to do it by myself. It doesn't matter to me. As long as he's breathing life and air inside of me that he's giving my health and my strength, I'm going to praise him. I'm going to worship him. I'm going to glorify his holy name if I got to do it by myself. I don't need no help. As long as he's right there helping me, as long as he's beside me, I'm going to pour my heart out to him. Amen. Hallelujah. 
I want to say thank y'all to all my brothers, my sisters, every young man and, and every young lady around the world today. Thank y'all guys so much for taking y'all time out out of y'all busy schedule to always be part of today's service. Thank y'all so much. Words cannot explain how thankful, how grateful, how honored, how blessed I am for every last one of y'all. Just thank y'all for, for always being participant, being faithful, being obedient, being obedient towards Jesus' ministry. Thank y'all so much. I want to let y'all know from the bottom of my heart, I'm so thankful and grateful and honored and blessed for every last one of y'all. Thank y'all guys for being part of my life and path, and I'm so thankful that I'm able to come and be part of y'all guys' life and path too. Continue to pray for me. I can always continue to pray for y'all. Y'all can always continue to put Jesus first place because Jesus is doing a new thing right now in your life. He's doing a new thing because of your faithfulness and your obedience that you have towards his ministry right now. His love, his priority. And once you put in Jesus first place and you put in his, his ministry first place and priority, he said, I got to do a new thing for you. You've done your part. He said, now I got to do my part. In Isaiah chapter 43, verses 18 and 20, it tells us that Jesus is doing a new thing because we planted a seed. And the seed that we planted was dead until you start watering, until you start speaking life over it, until you start speaking prosperity over it, until you had faith in that seed, trust in that seed, and hope in that seed. Now the seed that you had planted, it once was dead, now it's alive. Now it is springing up because the word of God says, do you perceive? Now it springs up. But Ecclesiastes 3 verses 1 said there's a time under heaven for everything. It was a time when you didn't see your seed move. It was a time when you thought your seed was still dead. It was a time when you didn't see your seed come out of the ground. It was a time when you didn't see your seed even spring up and turn green to be a stem. It was a time when you thought God has forgotten about you. It was a time you thought you say God ain't going to do nothing for me. God ain't going to do nothing new for me. It was a time when you've been questioning God. It was a time when you even doubted God. But God said now is my time for me to do something new. But he said I got to do it right now because God said it's a time under in heaven and right now your it's, it's your time right now it's your time for God to do something new in your life your finance your health your dreams your child's life your businesses your ministry or whatever it is Jesus it's your time for me to do something new but he said, I gotta do it now he said I can't do it later I gotta do it now while it's on my mind while it's fresh I can't do it tomorrow because tomorrow's not promised I can't do it next week because next week is not promised I can't do it next month or even next year because next month and next year is not promised to nobody. But right now, as I'm speaking to you right now, he said, I got to do a new thing. But he said, I'm doing it right now. He said, I'm doing it right now because your faith that you had in me, your obedience that you had in me, by you following all my laws and my decrees, he said, I got to come in. Good God Almighty. He said, now I got to come in and do a new thing right now. He said, I got to do a new thing in your blessing right now, in your open doors right now, in your breakthrough right now, in your healing right now, in your deliverance right now, in your more than enough right now, in your double portion right now. He said, I'm doing a new thing, but he said, I got to do it right now. He said, get ready because you better receive that phone call right now, the email right now, that text message right now, that letter that, that, letter that you've been waiting on. God said, I'm doing, doing it right now. He's doing it in the month of July in 2019. Good God Almighty, yes he is. If you believe like I believe it, and if you receive it like I receive it, and you declare it like I declare, and you decree it right now, I want you to open up your Bible and say, I thank you for it right now today, Jesus. I don't know when it's going down or how it's going to go down, but one thing I know for a fact, one thing I know for sure that you're doing a new thing in the month of July in 2019. I'm claiming it right now. I receive it right now. I'm declaring it right now. I declare it right now. I ain't put my name on it right now. I already approved it right now, and we ain't taking no for an answer right now, so we give you the thanks for it right now. We give you the glory for it right now, and we shall not victory right now because we know that you're doing a new thing but we're doing a new thing new right now in our life amen amen give god some thanks for it right now i say give god some praise for it right now i say give god some glory for it right now because he's doing a new thing right now amen amen hallelujah that's what exactly what he's doing a new thing right now god has a word for me today and this word today is for a lot of people right now today because we all have been through it. And he told me to tell you right now today, 
Start focusing more on the yes instead of the no's. He said, start focusing more on the yes instead of the no's. Because you don't see things happening right now. But say you don't, because you don't see things moving right now, it doesn't mean that he's not going to do it. He's not telling you no. He's just saying, not right now. He said, still in progress. He said, I'm still doing a new thing into you. He said, I'm still trying to work some things out, but the answer is never no. The answer is always yes. And he said, you got to do yourself a favor and start focusing more on the yes instead of the no's. And you know who you are. You got to be honest with yourself because a lot of you right now that you focus more on the no's than the yes. Amen? Amen. And before I get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Amen? Amen. Oh, Heavenly Father God, this came thanking you for this awesome and beautiful blessed day today. I came thanking you for this word. I came thanking you for this message. I just came thanking you for this opportunity right now today, Father God. I came thanking you for all my brothers, all my sisters, every young man, every young lady around the world, around the globe, around the universe who's taking their time out to be part of today's service, who's about to receive this word, who's about to receive this anointing message today. I just came thanking you Jesus, for the air that we're able to breathe. I came thanking you for the food that you had blessed and prepared and put on our table. The clothing shoe that you put on that bag. I just came thinking how you providing. I just came thinking how you making a way out of no way. I just came thinking how you moving mouth on our behalf. I just came thinking for your grace and your mercy. I came thinking for your love. I just came thinking for every opportunity, Father God, to be able to seek you in your kingdom, to give you the thanks and praise and glory each and every day. I came thank you enough that we able to get on our knees and we pray to you. I just came thank you enough, Jesus, to be able to open up our Bible to receive a word, a anointing message for you. I just came thinking for your angels that join us and praise and worship right now. I can't think enough for the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is lifting us up right now. It's in the move right now. It is doing a new thing through us right now. I just can't think enough for our blessing right now. Our breakthrough right now. Our anointing right now. Our deliverance right now. Our more than enough right now. Our double portion right now. Our abundance right now. Our harvest right now. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, 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 Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I worship you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I give you all the thanks, all the praise, all the glory, good God Almighty, because I can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you for your words. I I just can't think of for your promises. I just can't think of for your love. I just can't think of for your giving. I just can't think of for your blessing. I just can't thank you enough. 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 I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. Amen and amen. I just can't thank you enough. Can you please turn your Bibles to 2 Corinthians 1, and we're going to read verses 18 through 20. That's 2 Corinthians chapter 1, and we're going to read verses 18 through 20. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. And if you ain't got it yet, this can follow with us anyway, and you're going to go back over that 2 Corinthians chapter 1, and we're going to read verses 18 through 20. Amen. Amen. Give God some thanks and praise and glory for it if you got it. Hallelujah. We got it. But as surely as God is faithful, our message to you is not yes and no. For the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who was preached among you by me and Silas and Timothy, was not yes and no, but in him it has always been yes. Good Lord have mercy. For no matter how many promises God has made, there are yes in Christ. And through him, the amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. Too many of you right now today, you focus too much on the no's and not the yes. His words is right here is always yes. His promises is always yes. Whatever it is that you ask him for and you believe, 
and you believe it, you don't doubt it, he says always yes. He said whatever it is that you ask in his name, he said that he will and he shall do it. He's telling you it's yes. He said whatever it is that he started in your life is yes. Whatever it is that he's acting on right now is yes. Whatever it is that's lingering right now is yes because Jesus have a hold of it and he got a hold of you. So while you right now today is focused so much on the nose instead of the yes, and the reason why you are focused so much on the nose is because you don't see things happening the way that you should see happening. First thing you say, well, I guess God don't forget about me. I guess he ain't going to come through. I guess my marriage is over with, so I'm not going to get a divorce right now. I'm not going to get a separation right now. Or I'm not going to find me a new man. Or I'm not going to find me a new one because I've been asking God for help in my marriage. I've been asking for a sign. I've been asking God to be the head and the center, but yet my husband's still doing what he's doing, and my wife's still doing what she's doing. I don't see any changes yet. The situation's still looking the same, but God is not a God that he's going to be quick to rush to you. You got to let God do it on his time and on his how he's going to do it. Look at Lazarus. God didn't, Jesus didn't run to Lazarus right then and he was dead. He took his slow time because they knew, they thought that Lazarus was dead. But in Jesus said, Lazarus is not dead. I'm going to wake him up. I'm not in no hurry to get right there. Because Jesus' words and promise already, yes, it was already for, it was already ordained for Lazarus to get up right now. It's already been ordained for your marriage to be healed, to be reconciled right now today. If you focus on the yes in your marriage, you ain't had to worry about the no. You ain't got to worry about what, what's going on with your husband. You ain't got to worry about what's going on with your wife. If you focus on the word, if you focus on the promises, he gave you his word. He says his words are is already yes. It's up to you to say amen. When you say amen, you are telling Jesus, I trust you. Don't worry about your finances. Yeah, we all go through hardships. Yes, we all go through a little, a little rough patch, a little rough patch in our life that we can't get this, we can't get that. But I say thank you, Jesus, because I know that my financial situation is already done. I know that you got overflow, so I'm going to give you the thanks and praise and glory for it right now. Amen. Even though I don't see my ministry deal come right now, but I know it's already done. I already claimed it. I already declared it. I already decreed it right now. So I know that your words and your promise are already amen, already yes, because you started me in this. You called me. You put me in the game. I didn't put myself in the game. You put me in the game because you called me, you chose me, and you considered me for the game because you know I was the right candidate for it. Because by what, you would never put me in the game. If this ministry wasn't come, going to come to pass, it was not allowed, you were never allowed for this ministry to, to linger the way that it did. So I'm saying yes in advance, and I'm saying amen because I'm trusting you. That's the only way that it's going to get God's attention. You got to have faith. Stop focusing more on the nose and say, yes, I know my marriage is going to get better. Yes, I know I'm going to get out of this debt. Yes, I know I'm going to get in this business opportunity. Yes, I know we're going to have children. Yes, I know this ministry deal is going to come. Yes, I know my child's life is going to get better. Yes, I know my health is going to get better. Yes, I know the sun is going to shine. Yes, I'm going to get my opportunity. Yes, I'm going to get this brand new house. Yes, I'm going to get this car. Yes, I'm going to receive everything that I ever asked for and pray for. You got to start yourself with saying yes, because I know what's going to come through. Yes, it might look ugly right now. I might be in the storm right now. I might be in an ugly place right now. But one thing I know for a fact, one thing I know for sure, I'm not always going to be here. So I'm not focused on the no's, but I'm focused more on the yes because God's words is always yes. His promises is always yes. So I'm saying amen. And every time I tell Jesus amen, he saying, you know what? I like his faith. Because he's still trusting it even though he don't see things happening. He's not focused on the nose. He's focused on the word. He's focused more on the promises than anything. And that's what God wants you to do. He wants you to focus more on the word. He wants you to focus more on the promises. But too many of y'all right now today, y'all biggest problem is, that's why a lot of y'all walk away from y'all blessing, y'all breakthrough. That's why y'all see things come to pass. Because you're too focused on the no's instead of the yeses. Come on now, I need somebody to be real right now. I need somebody to be honest right now. And you know exactly who y'all are. As soon as we don't see things happening, in our time, in our time, we walk away. We give up. We throw in the towel. And the whole time, God said, 
It's on my time, not your time. He said, I already told you, yes. And he tell you right here in this word, not my word, but his word. He tell you his promises right now. He said, yes. And that's why I love that word linger, because if you turn your Bible to the book of Habakkuk, he said that anything that lingers, he said, wait for it, for the revelation will come. What he's telling you, he's telling you, I already, I'm, it's lingering because I got a hold on it. And what God have a hold on, he got a hold on you. God has a hold on your marriage right now. So he's telling you to say yes right now. God has a hold on your business opportunity and your business there right now. God has a hold on your ministry there right now. He has a hold on your child's life right now. He has a hold on your finances right now. He has a hold on your dreams. He has a hold on your blessings. He has a hold on your breakthrough. He has a hold on your anointing. He has a hold on your deliverance. He has a hold on your more than enough. He has a hold on your double portion. He has a hold on your harvest. He has a hold on your season. But you got to do your part and say this because whatever God has a hold on, he got a hold on you is because you are focused more on the yes and you are saying amen. The reason my God can't have a hold on a lot of y'all is because you too much focused on the nose. God can't have a hold on that. That can't linger is because you are walking with dead faith and God say faith without work is dead so that's why a lot of you right now today you give up too much. The point I'm making right now start focus on the nose and focus more on the yes. His words is yes. His promises is yes. His love is yes. God is faithful. Long that you're going to be faithful towards him. He will come through, my brothers. He will come through, my sisters. But you got to do your part. So you know what? I might be in this ugly place. My marriage might look ugly right now, but I'm saying yes because I know that my marriage is healed. I know my marriage will get better. I know my marriage gets stronger. I see the change in my husband right now. Yes, God. I see the change in my wife right now. Yes, God. I see the change in my finances right now. Yes, God. I see the change in my health right now, God. I say thank you. I see the change in my finances. I'm saying yes, God. I see the change in my ministry, dear. I'm saying yes. I see the change in my, re my medical report. I'm saying yes. I see that my children is coming. I say yes. I, I see the rain coming. I say yes. I see my blessing, my break you coming. I'm saying yes. I see glory right now. I see victory right now. I'm saying yes, but I'm saying amen to you, Jesus, because I know that you're going to come through. I know that you're going to come through. I know that you're going to provide. I know that you're going to show up, and I know that you're going to show out, so I'm saying yes. And I'm saying amen. Whatever it is that's looking ugly right now, amen to it, Jesus, because your words and your promises are already yes. I'm going to do my part by saying amen. And it says right here, God has made they are yes in Christ. And so through him, the amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. And through him, and God is one living through us. What would it say? Amen is spoken by who? By us. Amen is spoken by God. Amen is spoken. To you. When you say amen, you say, I'm, I say, thank you, Jesus. When you say amen, you say, I got trust in you, Jesus. When you say amen, you say, I have faith in you, Jesus. When you say amen, you say that you have hope in him, Jesus. When you say amen, you say, Jesus, you have full control, full assets of everything when you speak amen. Say amen right now today, my brothers. Say amen right now today, my sisters. Say amen right now today, young man. Say amen right now today, young, young lady. If you are focused on the yes, if you know that God's going to come through, if you know he's going to provide, if you know he's going to do what he says he's going to do, I double dare you right now today to say amen. Focus more on the yes instead of the no. If this word's for you, if this message for you, give God the thanks for it, give him the praise for it, and give him the glory for it. And we saying yes and amen, God. It's in your hand. We focus on the yes because we know it's a yes in our marriage. It's a yes in our finances. It's a yes 
and our dreams. It's a yes in our child's life. It's a yes in our financial report. It's a yes in our health. It's a yes in our dreams. It's a yes in our business deal. It's a yes in our ministry deal. It's a yes, it's a yes in our home. It's a yes in our spirit. It's a yes in our thought. It's a yes in our heart. It's a yes, it's a yes, it's a yes, it's a yes, it's a yes. And we want to say amen. Thank you, Jesus. Because it is a yes. It's a yes in our open doors. It's a yes in our harvest. It's a yes in our double portion. It's a yes in our blessing. It's a yes in our breakthrough. It's a yes. It's a yes. And it's always going to be a yes. But I'm saying amen to you, Jesus. Amen. P, you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us. I believe right now today by us praying a simple little prayer. That God is already working everything God in our life because of our amen. And I believe that right now. I declare it right now. I declare it right now. If this word for you, open up your mouth and say amen to him. Say amen to him right now. If this message for you right now today, say amen. Say amen, Jesus, because I know that's a yes in every situation in my life right now today. Give God the thanks for it. Give him the praise. Give him the glory. This minister LT. Continue to pray. Continue to worship. Continue to seek him. And continue to put your faith and trust in Jesus. Because his words is yes. His promises is yes. It's up to us to say amen. To say Jesus, we trust you. We got faith in you. We got hope in you. So before I close, amen Jesus. I love you. This minister to you. Continue to pray for one another. Stay blessed. Amen.